welcome back. Again, we are working with the universal roller. Um, I'm going to be working on my quad today, and I just wanted to show you that you can actually adjust where you lay on the universal roller to get a little bit deeper or to actually kind of do the surrounding muscles. Um, in another video, I'll show you kind of the IT band, uh, which is perfect to just surround that, that tendon. So today we're going to do quads, and I'm going to lay my leg on there. You don't want to hold yourself up. You want to go on your elbows. This is going to reduce strain that you feel on your lower back. And we're going to take it. We're going to go up an inch, back a half inch. And then we can lift our legs. If that's too much, if it feels like it's a little bit uncomfortable, you can just take it and again, do the rotation. What we're going to basically do is we're going to inchworm our way up to the knee. We're directly on the quad. So as you go through the rotations, you can actually take it and you can angle your hip to get the outer edge of that quad. So I typically end up with some pretty gnarly knots on the outer edges. So that is where I like to, to focus most of the pressure or not, depending on whether I feel like being a total sissy that day. And so you'll take it through the rotation. Whenever you're done, if you want, you can take it and angle it the inside and do the same thing going back up. There are a million different ways to use this tool. You can get a little bit more directly on. So that you get a little bit more contact or you can take it and put your leg into the middle and that'll be a little gentler. If you can tell my face is turning a little red right now which is to be expected. Make sure that you hydrate today because you're going to be releasing a lot of lactic acid into your system. So grab your noon bottle, your water bottle and stay hydrated. Come back and see me. Thanks, guys.